racist things on his show, and I've seen it. My buddies do his show. I said, well, at least show, show the country what he's really like, and that's sort of what they, my show is about. It. All right, well, so full disclosure. Anyway, full disclosure. Anyway, um, we're, we're not the First Amendment police. You're, you're free to say. No, oh, I can't. I, I just want to get a little back. But yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. So, so we're, um, you know, when we go out on these interviews, we're, we let people know, like, look, you're free to say whatever you want. Oh, I agree. No boundaries. I mean, once, once a certain line is crossed, oh, that's of course, of course, and I respect, I completely. So, um, and, and in your type of case, what, what we're concerned with a lot too is the audience that could reach. Absolutely. Somebody. To I, I did see a, cra- a crazy reaction to it from people that there's, a, you know, because I get a lot of death threats. I mean, I guess sure. there's a certain element. Of, I don't know if they're false, but I just ignore it, ignore it. You know, I, because anytime you take a position opposite those people, you know, you, you, you get, you know, I get it all the time. And so I don't, I just say, I'm going to ignore this, I ignore it, we have a certain amount of security, and I ignore it. But I, I also see how they take something and they blow it up like he is literally threatening to. Yeah. And, and I find that absurd, but I can see how, okay. and I also see people are tweeting Secret Service needs to be like they can call you guys and have you come over, I'm like, that's, that's ridiculous, but I understand what you're doing. Okay, so, because um, you know, you see a lot of times when, when we've had previous um, attempts on the president's life, they got motivated by somebody, you know, you look at Reagan, and he it's got... It's horrible, it's horrible, yeah, I so, agree. So that's, agree. we're, it's yeah. kind of twofold, we're, we're, yeah. we're addressing the tweet, but we also want to make sure what you said, what, what it could be taken as. Absolutely. Okay, and then obviously at, at the end of this whole thing, the biggest thing is to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, fairly. So um, those specific types of, um, of threats are just our scope. Anything else? I mean, yeah, I understand. Okay. So, um, and as I say, like I said, you, you obviously know you're a public figure. So as we've gone on several interviews with more like um, individuals who are public figures and society, it's not always concerned about obviously we address anything that you may have, may have tweeted or posted on Facebook or something. But what we have to worry about, you guys have an audience, like you say, inciting those that follow you. Yeah. You know, by being a public figure, you, like I said, you may might have used it in like a kind of comedian type sense or whatever, being very comical about it. But those are there's a lot of people out there who they really follow a time more. He said this, that was the you know the exact thing I needed. That I need to go get this and go ahead at the next rally and you know carry this out. But you might have meant it in total like playful jest. Yeah. So those are the type of things that we yeah. you know when it comes to that type of that person with a public platform like you have. You know, you could, you know, want to, you know, inside a motor. No, I hear like that. that. That yeah. would actually go yeah. out and do something. That's why I don't.